All right, the 200 gallon plywood corner tank is done. Or at least the waterproofing's done. And it is holding water. And it's holding the water very well. I'm very happy with the results on this one. So the next step is we are going to aquascape this thing. Really the next step should be finishing the exterior. I'm going to come through with a nice veneer and just wrap the exterior face and the stand as well, just in a nice veneer to make it look good. Uh, but that can be done later. I'm kind of getting excited and I want to get to aquascape in this thing. So what we're going to do is get that going. And first step is to put some substrate in here. We're going to use sand and we're going to use a mixture of pool filter sand and play sand. And I can get into the reasons why later. But for now, we're just going to show you how we clean these uh, budget DIY substrates. Because if you just put the sand in here right away, this water is just going to become filthy. Absolutely disgusting. You got to clean the sand pretty thoroughly when you're buying kind of these budget solutions. So we're going to show you how we clean the budget substrates before we put them in our tanks. So let's get to it. All right, so all you need for this is your bag of sand, a five gallon bucket, and a hose connected to a water source. And all you're gonna do is pour the bag of sand in the bucket, and I like to use just half a bag per cleaning. That makes it more manageable when you put it in the bucket. So all you do is dump this in. Move, buddy. So you get the water going. Doesn't need to be going super strong. Just fill up some water for a second, and then you're gonna grab it. And all you're gonna, all you have to do is just start spinning it around. The sand becomes fluidized pretty easily, and look at all that dirt and gunk floating up on the top. So I'm just spinning the hose around in the sand. It's so easy. And then it all floats up to the top and you can just dump it out. You don't dump the entire bucket because obviously there's sand in there that you want. But you can dump a lot. And all that dirt and dust just kind of floats up to the top. And you're just skimming it off. And you just dump it until you're just down to the sand level there. And you just got to do this maybe five times and you should be good to go. So this is after five soaks and it's so much more clear. You know, it's still not perfect. You know, a couple more soaks would probably get it uh, near pristine, but this is good enough for my purposes. So yeah, that's about all there is to it. But why are we going to so much effort to clean this dirty sand? Why not buy the clean aquarium ready sand from a pet store? And you can do that. But when you're working with big tanks, that gets cost prohibitive very fast. Even your basic aquarium sand from a pet store is going to cost about $1.25 per pound. But when you buy things like pool filter sand or play sand from a hardware store, you're going to be spending only 20 to 40 cents per pound. That is a huge savings, and when you take that over the hundreds of pounds of substrate you're going to need, it's really worth the effort. And you can still end up with a phenomenal looking tank. You don't have to sacrifice any aesthetics to save on cost. But that's all we're covering today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you'd be interested in seeing more videos about hobby tips and tricks on how to save money, drop it in the comments below. Either way, I'll see you next time.